Hi, it's Jim with Brian Sports Therapy here. Uh, just a, a video post to accompany our blog on how to find the best trainer for you. Um, we're going to talk initially about uh, foot biomechanics. Um, not a lot uh, talked about this, particularly in terms of trainers. It's kind of the focus on the trainers, but for me, the focus should be on the foot because that's what you can control. Uh, the trainer's just a little bit of equipment that uh, kind of helps you out. So we're just going to have a look down at, the, at what's going on at, at the foot here. So. Uh, Kind of just roll the uh, trans leg up a little bit as if I was going in for a paddle here, so you can see my, my beautiful feet here. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, basically, what happens in terms of walking, we'll talk about. Uh, running is very similar, although you can do a heel strike, midfoot strike, uh, toe strike, more of that on the, on the blog post itself. Um, but uh, in terms of walking, heel strike uh, is the first thing that hits the ground, then we have the outside of the foot uh, that hits the ground next. And then the foot pronates, and pronation isn't a bad thing, contrary to uh, popular belief. Okay, the foot rolling in, it might roll in a little bit more, mine certainly does on this right side. And then as I come through, we have the toe off phase, and the toe comes through there. Okay, that's your basic biomechanics. Now, any trainer that you should buy should complement that, it shouldn't restrict that in any way. Now, it's really important to get the uh, weight evenly distributed across the foot. Uh, from, from the bigger picture, I'm just going to show you that now. So, just going to take my weight, I'll just bring this down, and I'm just going to take the weight uh, evenly across my feet. Now, a lot of us just stand, we think we're balanced, okay, but a lot of us really aren't. So, I'm actually going to move my um, pelvis, we're just going to focus in on the feet, I'm just going to move my pelvis, okay, and, and I'm going to exaggerate the movement, but you can see what a, what a profound impact that's had on the position of my feet. Okay, we just go back the other way, and again, same thing. I move my, my, my whole pelvis to the left there. You can see the weight's more on the outside of my right foot and more on the inside of, of my, sorry, more on the outside of my left foot and more on the inside of my right foot here. And that can go for, uh, further up the body. If we then look at my head, for example, just come back up to the head. If I, exactly again, just exaggerating massively, if I move my head in a very awkward movement, and believe me, I have seen clients who are in this position, Again, I can now already feel that my feet are following my head almost, and there's more uh, strain on the outside of my right foot. Okay, so a nice little exercise to try and get the balance between the feet is um, a little bit of skiing. I always call it, where you're just swinging from side to side. Make it a small movement, and then smaller, smaller movement, and then you'll actually find where that neutral is. Really focus on. If you imagine, if you look at my hand here a second, imagine that's my foot here. I want an equal amount of weight on each of those uh, each of those toes. So we want to be able to feel the outside one as much as the inside one, and there'll be a variation. Also, want to be able to feel the front of my foot as much as the back. And you can see I'm just rocking back and forth here a moment. Okay, and I'm just going to find neutral. Just soften the knees as you do this as well. That will really help you uh, find where that neutral is. Now that's my neutral, and uh, your neutral will be. You know, different for you. But then, if once you've done that, if you then kind of just um, go back to where you would naturally want to live, and what I've noticed there is I've immediately wanted to lock my knees out and push my body weight backwards. So that suggests that I, I have too much weight in this back plane. Okay? Now, all of that is really quite complex biomechanics, um, but I just wanted to show you how important the rest of the body is in terms of what's going on at the foot. Okay? And that's why one of my bugbears is, is the trainers that are the magic, you know, one trainer fits everything, okay? Equally, you know, it, there might be an issue with the foot and, you know, you might put some anti-pronation kind of uh, something in there and it, and it might do something good up here. But equally more often in the clinic we see that it actually has a negative impact further up the kinetic chain than it does a positive impact, about 80% we would say. Um, and the biomechanics are so complex to just tinker with something that's going on a foot. And it, it, well, it's just dangerous, uh, to, to be honest with you. Um, and it's not something we recommend, which is why we recommend a nice neutral shoe, something you've been using for a long time and something your body is well adapted to. Uh, a trainer should enhance your, your mobility and not restrict it in any way. So any kind of motion control, anything that's adding extra stability, I'd be very, very cautious of those kind of trainers. Hope you found that useful. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the blog post. Any comments, um, let me know. And uh, if you want to come and see us for any issues, trainers aren't uh, matching your injury better, come see us at Brighton Sports Therapy. Thanks very much.